Daddy was the perfect hair for this. <laughs> So right after Nike Cross Regionals, uh, yeah, kind of took her shopping um, and then took her to her spiritual baptism place of Sedona, Arizona, just 38 miles south of her birth home in Kehlani, Flagstaff, Arizona. ready to drop into the actual canyon itself of Boynton Canyon. You can see how we've been climbing the shoulder here past the Enchantment Resort which is to the left and now we're descending into the canyon proper. So that resort uh, building right there that's where we stayed your mom and I during your spiritual baptism which took place up at the head area of the canyon. We call these alligator trees because the bark looks like alligator skin. It's so sweet. So these are called uh, Mountain Manzanita. And their bark is absolutely beautiful and they are sharp like a manzanita and you can the natives in a certain season the brown bark starts kind of shedding off and it makes the most beautiful and healthy tea So Boynton Canyon is one of four vortices or vortexes inherent to the Sedona geography. And why we're being quiet is to respect this geonatural 
ethereal wave of Mother Earth energy. This is a yin vortex, and the higher we get up into the canyon, the more palpable is the energy. So, Sedona is one of the sacred spaces on Mother Earth's skin that is like a chakra field in the human body. More alligator trees. And so, just like we have the chakra system in the body, Mother Earth has a chakra system, you know, within her body. And a, one of these vortices, as in Sedona, has four of them. Just like our body has values in yoga, uh, currents of energy, so too does Mother Earth. So, Boynton Canyon is a very powerful value, um, a current of Mother Earth energy. And this is where we took Dewa for her spiritual, her energetic baptism. And uh, yeah, I wrote a little book on that. And we're going to go up and revisit her baptism together. And um, hope you're enjoying it. We're v being very quiet. We're not talking. And there's space between me and Dewa. So what we're doing is we're receiving. We're receiving the energetic waves, the currents, and then we're letting them go back into the universe. This is a, like an energetic bath, a shower, if you will, and it's extremely cleansing and balancing to our chakra system. Like all the enlightened teachers have said, you know, our body is a microcosm of Mother Earth's body and the universal body. So this is like a very beautiful cleansing and empowerment within the temple of Mother Earth. So we're, we've been kind of speed walking for an hour and a half to five. And we've come up to the, this ridge. And this is where the energetic current makes a big eddy. And if we just turn around this, get a big hit. I'm feeling it now. So these are all crystals that the white people broke off, snapped them off, hundreds of millions, see how So here you can see all across the red rock, these are all crystals that used to stem up into a terminated end and it would be, there'd be millions of them radiating into the astral grid from this vortex and the white people came and they snapped them they snapped them all off to sell them for money and carve their initials in the sacred rock but i bring my daughter here to her baptism place so she can feel the ways of mother earth we're right in the sacred vortex a sacred vortex of our precious Mother Earth. This is where we baptized energetically Dewa. And 
and we came up quiet without words. And now so many people talking on their phones, completely divorced from this beautiful temple. Come on, people. Wake up. Wake up and feel. And feel. And now we will sit and meditate and reflect. My daughter and I. So after visiting the vortex of her spiritual baptism, took her back to Raven Road, that is Doko Usled in the far left. And this is where Dewa was conceived, Two Tree Manor, Flagstaff, Arizona. <laughs> this is where she used to, we used to take her to the playground. And she was so small on that little thing. Oh, and this is where, yeah, ah, uh, you parents know, what it's like to bring a kid to a breakfast place. And Buffalo Park. Had her backpack here, and now maybe she'll run with Coach Mike Smith with an NAU. Love you. Namah.